Hey guys, what's going on? Tennessee Frank here. Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit fun. I know uh, last few videos have been kind of more on the serious vein. Uh, what with all is going on in the world right now. But uh, I, I just wanted to put something out there a little more lighthearted, just a, just a little more enjoyable. I mean, <laughs> you got to do something to kind of break up the monotony and, and enjoy life a little. So we're here on Distro Watch which is uh, where you can find pretty much all the Linux distributions you'd like to run. Linux Lite, that's a good one. Um, there's Mint, there's the latest version of Mint. Um, but what I want to do, I, this is for fun, I'm going to go to their uh, page hit rankings and this kind of shows how many hits any given distro is getting. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's being ran on more hardware. Uh, because you see here, MX is like number one, but I'm pretty sure Ubuntu or maybe uh, Fedora, some of these others, are being run on more systems than Mint or 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 Linux, uh, MX Linux or Manjaro. I mean, they're all good distros, but yeah, Ubuntu is probably way way outclassing these guys. Uh, but people that are interested in Linux have clicked on the MX Linux tab or the Mint tab to kind of take a look at it. So that's why they're there. So yeah, you can kind of go by this is the, you know, how popular, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's more, uh, more computers out there running it. So what I want to do, I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom. We're going to look at the very last one, which looks like it's called Open Mamba. Um, and here we are on the page here on DistroWatch for Open Mamba. And we can see it is a Linux-based distribution. Um, it's an independent distribution. It's not actually based on uh, anything like Debian or Arch or, or Fedora or anything. It, it's its own thing. Um, its origins is Italy. They do make a 32-bit version and a uh, x86 64-bit for your newer processors. Looks like you have a choice of two desktops, KDE or LXDE, and uh, it's a desktop category, Linux, and you can run on live media. They do have an ARM-based version for the Pi, and they do have a server-based version. Um, we can do a little bit of quick reading here. We can see uh, they're using uh, apt for RPM and Synoptic as a package management tool. So it's going to be uh, fairly familiar if you've ran Debian or Ubuntu. Um, but uh, RPM would be more your OpenSUSE or your Fedora or Red Hat um, packages. So we will go over here, go to their website, give it just a second. And uh, we see here's a download button. They also have downloads up here. And we will take a look here. And I'm going to go ahead and go for this live DVD rolling version. And we will go ahead. I'm going to click on this. And uh, once this is done downloading, we're going to install her in VirtualBox. And just take a look at it, just to see what it is. Um, this is the, the last one on the list. I'm curious. What's the last Linux distro on the list look like? We'll be back once it's downloaded and I got her on VirtualBox. All right, uh, here we are in Open Mamba. Um, I've already gone in and set this up to uh, the dashboard and I redid my screen resolution. Um, there are updates that need to be done, of course. Anytime you install a distro, you're going to have updates. Um, pretty much it just basically looks uh, looks pretty much like any other XF or XFCE. Now, a KDE uh, distro that I've looked at. So it looks kind of interesting. Um, let me go ahead. Let's go into uh, our settings and see if I can get it set up how I like to set things up. 
So we'll go into our settings. Of course, I already have set this to icon view as well. Um, we can go in here to look and feel. Let's go ahead and see if we can find our modern theme. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and install that real quick. If it'll take, sometimes it takes a while. We'll see. Let me see if I can get her set up the way I like it. There's that. Apply. Yeah, there we are. Go back to all settings. Go to workspace themes here. Oxygen. Apply. There we go. Yeah. It's looking good. Go into our fonts. Adjust all fonts, size. Go ahead and bump them up to about 12. Of course, we're going to get our little message. Yeah, I know. I've done this so many times I could almost do this in my sleep, I think. I'm setting up, uh, setting up desktop for uh, KDE. Let's see if my buff icons are in here. B-U-U-F. Boof. Boof, buff, buff, boof. Okay, KDE Plasma, the Boof Plasma. And these normally take a second to install. I think it's a, uh, yeah, 12.8 meg package. It's a pretty good size package. Not as big as the uh, GNOME one, so. That's uh, 28 meg. So we'll let them install. And once I get it set up so it looks kind of familiar, um, then we'll go ahead and take a quick look around here. And uh, let's just see what number uh, 288 on DistroWatch looks like. And uh, if, it, uh, if it's uh, as good as all the others, I mean, why is it 288? Why isn't it higher on the list? It seems to me it should be higher on the list, you know. Go ahead and we'll minimize that. We'll leave it open down here and see they got that set. Um, we'll go ahead, configure task manager, show tool tips, uncheck it. That way when we hover on something we don't get that covering up our desktop. Uh, we can go ahead and configure our clock. Looks like they already uh, don't have it for 24 hour time which is good. Uh, time zone, yeah. Let me see if I can find my time zone real quick. See if it'll synchronize. Sometimes it does, sometimes you gotta do like a restart. Let's go ahead down here. Phoenix, apply. And yeah, it, it didn't, it's still, it's still giving me the wrong time. There's our calendar. So that's good. And see if those have installed yet. They're still installing. Sometimes those install quick, sometimes they don't. I'm just going to close out. We'll not worry about that right now. Um, some icon that I did notice down here in the tray is this little wrench. And it says something about software, add, remove. I clicked it. I really didn't. It didn't do anything. So I don't know if we need to update. Here's your firewall. You can enable, disable from down here. Proxy. Yeah, I mean, interesting. That's interesting. Let, let's look and see what's installed here out of the box. Go to all applications. And they got a Vahi. There's Arc. Amarox in here. And of course, some of these things are going to be things I've never heard of. This, uh, what is that? Bologio? B L O G I L O? Bologio? Never heard of it. Don't know what it is. Um, there's Chrome, Chromium out of the box. Here's Dolphin. Of course, Discover's in there. Firefox out of the box. Um, they even got a safe mode. I'm not sure what safe mode is. Um, maybe private browsing. And then there's actually uh, Google Chrome 
wide vine plug-in. Wow, don't know what that is. Here's our HP stuff for our printer. We got that. Interesting. Install Spotify. Install Skype. Install MS TrueType Core font. So they don't have stuff actually installed. There's Flash. You can install Flash. Um, it's not actually there by default, but they do give you an easy way to install it. Um, install the system. Of course, there's that. This looks like VirtualBox extension pack. That's nice. Install Win32 Codex. That's not bad. Um, let's see if we got Caden Live here out of the box. Um, don't see it, so we'd have to install Caden Live to do our video editing. We do have LibreOffice. That's nice. What is this? Open Mamba Base Components. System Report. USB installation. Yeah, there's there's some interesting looking tools here. Some stuff I've never seen before. Um, might be fun to play with. Here's Spectacle for your screenshots. UF Raw. I wonder if that's a game. We'll, we'll check here in a minute. Vim is in here, which I've never used it, but I hear it's pretty good. Um, VLC Media Player. I don't see any games over here. Those are development tools, education, graphics. Crit is in here. That's interesting. I know uh, one of the last distros I looked at had practically every K you could think of, but they didn't have Crit. Of course, Internet, you've got a ton of browsing options. Um, you have uh, Chromium, Firefox, Conqueror. I guess, is this a, I'm going to click it, let's just click it, let's see what it is, I'm curious, I wonder if this is some kind of little Italian browser, and uh, let's see, finish, yeah, we're not going to put a password in, and it doesn't work, apparently it may need to be updated or something before we get that to work. A lot of times out of the box, you're going to need to update stuff to get bug fixes and things. Of course, there's, like I said, there's our multimedia. They got caffeine in there. That's cool. Settings menu. System. Like I said, a lot of options for installing stuff. What's this? Install bra. Oh, they got a thing for your Broadcom. Um, Broadcom will normally give Linux users fits. Your Broadcom B43. Um, there's an easy way to install firmware. Of course, you would have to be plugged into an Ethernet cable in order to download it and install it, right? So if your Broadcom's not working, you could go uh, plug into an Ethernet and at least get the Wi-Fi working somehow. But, uh, yeah. Kind of interesting. Utilities... I don't know what Cleopatra is. Looks interesting. Not bad. Let's see what kind of wallpaper they give us. See if we get any anything decent out of the box here. Open this up here. Well, a lot of it, yeah, it's like a basic KDE wallpaper. There's a lot of them. Let's look at that one. That looks kind of cool. That's interesting. See if we've got anything else that looks nice. There's the boats. I was running that over on my Arco Linux setup. That's kind of a bright one. Let's take a quick look at it. Woo, man, bad acid trip. Wow. That's that's definitely bright. I don't know if I'd want to see that all all day long. Um, let's find something a little bit easier on the eyes right there. This forest. I like this forest. I'm running that on my uh, computer over on the Arco Linux as my main desktop. That's kind of pretty. That looks like some area where I might go deer hunting or, or you know, go out and 
hunt some squirrels or do something just to get out in the woods. That's pretty. I like that. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know why I can't get this to open. Add remove software. Um, they were saying something about Synoptic. I don't see anything coming up under Synoptic. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me see utilities. I'm not, yeah, I'm not really. Let's click Kia Cleopatra, see what it looks like. I'm not seeing Synoptic, all that it did say. Cleopatra self test. Don't know what all that's for. Failed, failed. Wow. Ooh. A lot of stuff failed. That's interesting. But yeah, this, this is kind of, it's looking kind of like your basic uh, KDE distro. I mean, it's, yeah. Icons. We can see what we can set here for icons. Filters, tweaks. What's tweaks? Show desktop toolbox, press and hold, yeah. It's basically KDE. That's for sure, you're looking at KDE on top of uh, just your basic. Let me see if we got, um, see if we got a console, there's console. I wanted to check something real quick while we're in console. Let's see if we can get it open. Um, edit current profile, appearance. Let's go to my nice pretty green I like. Boom, boom. Close enough. Fonts. See if they got hack. I don't see hack. I like the hack fonts. There's a mono space, courier. Free mono. We can go free mono bold. Let's make her about 16. Make her big. And okay. They got it locked down. They got it locked down. Those, mm, they got it locked down. Um, I would have to go into root folder and, and change the uh, change the permissions on it because it's it's right now it's owned by root. Um, we should be able to uh, enlarge font. Let's do that a few million times and see if we can get it big enough that you guys can see it. That's probably big enough. We can see what we're doing. Um, I wanted to go ahead and do a U name, pack A, and let's see. 414. Wow. Ooh. That's running a really old kernel. 414 TAC 94 Mamba. That is a very, very old kernel. Um, God, even. Uh, even KDE Neon was like 415, and they may have even upgraded. Um, let's see. Let me try something. sudo app install. Well, hang on. Let's do something first. sudo app update. Command not found. And it said it was using the app package manager. Let's try app get. Yeah, I am not sure. I am not sure what package manager. Um, sudo urpmi. That's not it. Whoa, that's that give me a thing on RPM. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I am not sure what package manager they are using. They said app, but app doesn't seem to be working. Um, like I said, there are a ton of updates. I'm not gonna mess with them now. Uh looks like fairly easy to install. Let's kinda see what installer they're gonna give us.
kind of curious here if it's going to be like a calamares or, or what if it even works hmm oh there it is never mind I just opened it twice I'll have to close one of these I'll have to close one of these that looks does it look like calamares it looks kind of Let's say next. No, I'm not in Rome. You are a million miles off there. Phoenix. Yep, English. Race disc. Whoo, they want to give me a bunch of swap. Next. Okay, and we'll call this. Uh, hmm. Well, I don't think I can use caps. Mamba VB. Mamba Virtual Box. Good enough. Um, password will be... Uh, good enough. I don't want to automatically log in. Next. Install. Install now. Yeah. I just mainly want to see what the installer looks like. I mean, you can see... Installation, bad source, ooh. It's gonna do a squash file installation. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, okay, time got corrected somehow. Don't know when that happened. But yeah, it's it's on uh, Phoenix time. Yeah, this, this is uh, Open Mamba. And uh, this is like the last one in the list, number 288. I would say if I could figure out the file system um, so I can do commands from terminal that I could probably run this. It would not be so foreign to me. I mean it's a very familiar desktop. This is what I basically run it is your KDE and uh, yeah I mean not bad. <clears throat> not too bad. So uh, you never know. You go ahead, go on DistroWatch, uh, go over and uh, check check out what they got, scroll around, you never know. I mean, this is the last one on the list that don't look too bad. So, uh, like I always say, either we stand up for our rights or we sit by and watch them go away. Y'all have an awesome rest of the day, this has been fun. Tennessee Frank out of here.